Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having a, a good close out to your week. Hopefully everything went uh, smoothly. If not, you know it's part of the process. You know that if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. I'm not going to be long. Uh, you saw the intro to this video, so you know that we here at the Odyssey Project are still pushing. Uh, to raise funds for the things that we do in the community, everything from the research center, uh, the think tank, our programs in the community, Black Men Lead, uh, domestic violence support, mental health support, and on and on. Anybody that's followed me know that I've been doing this for more than two decades uh, through the Odyssey Project, and I've been doing this pretty much all my life. It's my passion. It's the thing I love to do. Uh, so definitely we need your support we need you to go to the description box click the link and give or give to the organization's cash app whatever way works best for you so in this short video i'm going to pose a question as a challenge what are we doing as a people as a collective as a race outside of building walls to block one another out and push each one another back and wage intense battles against one another, what are we building? If you look at any other enclave out there, they're building something. They are community-minded. They are <clears throat> focusing on protecting interests. You know, one of the things that I've, got, I've gotten to observe, especially since my return to Houston is whenever I set up in a uh, you know satellite type space like Starbucks or Barnes and Noble or somewhere where you can go catch Wi-Fi and, and do some work one thing I noticed is Asians are always meeting and there is this like several levels of hierarchy there are the elders there are the people who I would guess could be in my age group, the Gen Xers, and, and then there are the millennials, and they're all there, and there's this level of respect, but that's this level of focus, and I've asked on more than one occasion, uh, I've asked someone, you know, so what's going on, is this a family thing? And sometimes it's family, sometimes it's simply community coming together to discuss community issues and determine what's gonna be done about it. And they are the respected ones within that family, within their community, within that enclave, and they are going to come up with solutions and then take them back and present them to the larger group. And they will be determined what will be held, what will be done, what will be implemented, and on and on and on. They have a percent, uh, a particular way of approaching things. Same thing with Arabs, same thing with uh, Latinos. There's this community idea that we don't seem to grasp. We have bought so heavily into the idea of individualism that the catchphrase for us is, it's not my business. The catchphrase for us is, you know, you know, as long as it ain't bothering me, there's no code, there's no standard of expectation. There is no agenda that's on the table that says we are going to further a universal cause. And it's as if we don't see that the most targeted group in this country is us, meaning that we should be the most prepared. 
the most offended. But the reason we're targeted is number one, the fear of what would happen if we ever got our footing. But number two, we're the least prepared to defend ourselves. We're the easiest mark. And the crazy thing is we grow up in a community where the one thing nobody wants to be is the mark. Nobody wants to be the trick. Nobody wants to be that person that everybody looks at and say they are easy win. But we constantly line ourselves up to be that easy win. We constantly line ourselves up to be the mark. We don't come together. We aren't building anything. We aren't establishing any agenda. We aren't even sending a message that in X amount of years, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. We are simply looking at who I can outshine in my own enclave, who I can look better than, who I can compete against. You know, it's, it's this ongoing idea of individualism and everybody's trying to prove who they are and nobody's trying to understand that we should be building together the best way to protect our kids is as a unified front no i'm not suggesting that we are monolithic i'm not suggesting that we all have the same interests. what i am suggesting is that nobody's looking at us when they see our skin color and to trying to determine what religion we are trying to determine what our political affiliation is trying to determine what what our socioeconomic depth is they're looking at us and they see black and they're handling us a certain way because we're black and we are being held out and and pushed pushed up against because we're black and so the blackness is the universal um identifier blackness is something we can't escape we can't hide our blackness when we go out and it's what people are looking at and determining how they're going to treat us regardless of our socioeconomic status our re religious and political affiliations and so forth we are going to have to come to a point in time where we are prepared to build so the question is again what are we building outside of the walls that work against our own we, 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 we're doing an unbelievable job of that. We're doing an unbelievable job of sitting up building walls and, and, and slanging hatred and, 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 and vitriol and all of this stuff at people who look like us. Uh, we got that down to a science. My concern is what are we doing in, in, in the grand scheme of things when it comes to building as a unit, instead of attacking one another, what are we doing to sit up and say, you know what, this is who I am, this is what I'm going to do, this is uh, my contribution to my people? That's my question, and that's what I'm going to leave you with, is how in the world are we building, how in the world are we building, and all we're doing is sitting up and attacking one another? It's, it's, it's exactly what they expect for, from us. It's exactly what they want us to uh, do. And we're doing it with great uh, um, consistency. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to get off. Uh, it's been one of those days for me. But I had to ask that question. What are we doing to build? When are we going to do something uh, significant enough that it shifts the current state of our being in this in this world in this country. When are we going to realize the power we have if we come together and operate in unity? Um, when someone's consistently promoting disunity amongst uh, a group, the group should stop long enough to ask why. Why is it they're so concerned with us not con connecting? Why are they so concerned with keeping us at odds with one another? Why is it so important to make us easily triggered? What is in it for them and what is in it for us? And you have to ask yourself, does it benefit us? Absolutely not. It doesn't benefit us. So who does it benefits them? So why are we participating in it? Why are we readily participating in our own demise why won't we come together and build something that we can use to elevate ourselves that's what I'm going to leave you with so I hope that you know you take that question to heart 
In the meantime, like I said, if you believe in the work that we're doing, click the box and give. On that note, I'm out of here, you guys. Have a